my platform was taken away from me, which was the podcast. Yes. And I'm going up against Barstool Sports, everyone that works for that company, Dave Portnoy, yeah. his plat his like various platforms, Erica Nardini, CEO of Barstool, her various platforms, and Alex Cooper, who now has a podcast. I ended up doing it okay. for a certain dollar amount. And it was the first time in my life I've ever felt like a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> really? After everything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time? Come on. They know that I go flip mode when I bust the rhymes. Man's on a different thing, man. I told him a hundred times. I did a bunch of crimes, and none of them were done for the vine. So you can take that bullshit and stick that where the sun don't shine. The summer's up, it's about to get real cold. Late nights in the studio with the bros. Are you from Canada? Yeah, yeah we're, we're from, from Toronto. Toronto. Did you start it, Dean? Yeah, yeah, we'll get into All right. it. Yeah, 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 we're good. I mean, I think you guys have been recording since I stepped foot <sighs> in here. Right. Fair, yeah. Without we good? letting me know. And I have not signed a consent. There's no form. consent. <laughs> Very easy. Delete it all, you boys. Can't say, you can't say that. You can't say yeah, that. Yeah, no consent. Camera, start, don't start using these words like consent and shit. We're going to get I'm fucked. Just say, I'm just saying there's no consent <laughs> form. form. Cut that out. Cut that out. Whatever she just said about consent, Fucking cut that cut out. Cut that. And with that being said, welcome back to the MBH <laughs> podcast, Money Buys Happiness. Guys, first of all, I got to say, we appreciate you. 75K subs. Yes. For a couple lads from Toronto. A couple Woo! douchebags yes. from Toronto. Show some fucking love out no here, No one believed okay? in us. They, they probably still don't. They still don't believe in us. But, but we're here anyways. Appreciate you guys. And if you're not, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever. Just say anything at this point. <laughs> we're, we're easy. We're fucking super easy. We finally got Sophia Franklin. Yes. I'm so excited to be here. It only took Thank me you. commenting on every one of your pictures. Th have you? Yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for noticing. <laughs> what kind of shit are you commenting? I was coming, like, I was, it was a variety, you know? I was trying to get your attention in many different ways. Okay. Couple, couple rocket emojis. The, that is the worst. I know, the worst but that was like the first way in. Okay, that was okay. like the first thing. I'm like, okay, now I gotta get better. And you have a blue check mark, and you're like, I just have, oh, to, it's throw, a lot. I just it's have done. to throw some fucking emojis. That's what we thought. We thought a couple rocket emojis, blue check mark. Not. Nah, I mean, in. now you can what? Pay fifteen dollars a month and have a blue check mark. Yeah, is, that, is that what it's gonna be now? I think. So. I don't know if it started yet, but <laughs> we're in trouble. Like, come on, <laughs> it didn't we're, start yet. We're in trouble. I also said, come on the pod. On one of my pictures. Did you ever slide into the yes. DM? Yes, I have. In a sexual way or professional? Professional. That's why you didn't get an answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I could that's slide, why, I that's could slide in in a sexual way. That's what you're going to open. I just didn't know that that was the way. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have responded to a sexual way. But I don't really look at my DMs too much. But aren't you like, like everyone that says that, like, aren't you interested in what your DMs look like though? Like, no. No, not at all. No. No? But quite the opposite. Like, I'm always intrigued. I'm like, oh shit, like three requests. Like, what could it be? But okay, you're, so you're saying, like, it's a hater? Wait, you're dealing with three requests? <laughs> okay. So. But, but I, no, it's because I look at shit. So maybe that's why that, it's yeah, like way more God. interesting. Okay. That's amazing. Fuck the request. That's cut amazing. that out, too. We're going to cut that, <laughs> too. Cut I don't have, have fucking 5,000 requests yeah. right now if you check no. my phone. That's crazy. Um, so that's sliding crazy. in the DMs does not work. No. For you. But I mean, if I were you and I only got like one request that shows up every <laughs> I got to try my shot. I got to do Then I would do be more you, interested. You, okay. Damn. But I will say, if there's a blue check mark, I'm more likely to open your message <sighs> in the DMs. Yeah. How many? You got to check your phone. Do you have your phone with you? No. Maddie, do you? Oh, wait. She's like working. I just want to. Sorry. Sorry. I just need to know I how many requests you have it. right now. No, no. I just. And I want to read some. Too. Oh, oh, yeah. Do it. Please. Because that, you can that's read a big mine. flex. I can't. <laughs> can there's read. only three. You can there's <laughs> the thing is, three. you can finally open mine. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I can open them now. If you want. Oh, I could read yours out loud. Yes. It's so professional, though. It's just, it's just what it is. Ugh, I was just asking. I to saw a picture that I didn't want to see on Instagram. <laughs> see, this is why I don't open. But why don't Instagram. you just mute people that you don't want to see? <laughs> because, like, maybe I kind of like you want to have see a it. crush, yeah, and see? I just saw something I didn't want to. Okay, so what am I reading? Just like my your no, your no, you chance? don't have to. You could read mine's. Mine's literally just come on the podcast. But if you have anything interesting, we'd love to hear it. Okay, so this is great. This guy <laughs> said. Um, <laughs> What? He's talking about LeBron James, so what? I don't know who he <laughs> thinks I am, but he did make fun of my lip liner because I'll overline my lips. He said, do you have a mustache? Which is like really, <laughs> really cute. I actually have a lot of blue check marks in here. This guy said to be your vibrator for a day would be amazing. Wow. Wow. That's wow. not a bad... That's I gotta get more creative. What the he fuck? He me happy Oh, he's still birthday. going. He's going hard. Okay, here's my thing, though. I'll probably send one, and then if there's nothing that happens, it's done. 
that's the normal thing to but do. But do you have yeah. multiple messages from a blue check though? Like, will you like? Are, do we only care about the blue check? No, I'm just curious. I'm just saying because like I think blue check means you have a little more. You, you try to have a little more respect for yourself, you know? You know like for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm just in throat. This is the craziest shit I <laughs> oh, can. Oh, he's, okay, he's, he's just talking. He's going, he's going. just got to the top. Okay, let's see a blue check mark. And and how many requests are, are you thinking are there? I'm Now I'm just curious. So right now it just says... Too many to, to tell you the number? Basically. <laughs> okay. It says request 17, but then there's like hundreds. Okay, Damn. so the 17 are new. So that's what I'm saying. I have three... Oh, new. then it says, okay, but then it keeps going. Okay. See, I have like three new Ernesto. ones. I'm, oh, wow. Oh, is it there? Can you see it? Can you Ernesto. open it? <laughs> Can you open it? I haven't even opened it. <laughs> what does it, it say? What does it say? What does I it haven't, say? I didn't even press accept And I tagged you. It. Look at the second one. I tagged you in something you didn't even see it. You said, come on our podcast. Done. And it was a reaction to a clip of my mom and I talking. Well, that's like you that's know, a very respectful slide. That's very I have respectful. To say. Very Is respectful. It? I don't know. I've, I've 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 seen worse. You've seen worse too. Probably the mom. The mom. Po. He tried. He tried a thing. You know okay, what I mean? Okay, so it was like, like family it. oriented. Look at her. Yes. She's with her family now. Come on my podcast. Kind okay, because I could take it a little differently. Oh, like your mom and you. Because guys and it's like, really try to get at my mom. Yeah. Big time. Damn. That might be the first step in. Like, like through you, like message you into the mom. <laughs> get the mom first. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just saying in general because my mom's hot. So, like, they'll message you and be like, yo, like, I want yeah, your mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Wow. That's happened, like, <laughs> quite a few times. Okay, so you don't really use Instagram to talk to people. I mean, I do, and I'm obviously on there quite a bit, but I'm not sitting there going through every fucking DM. Okay, fair. What I, if it's, like, your fans, though? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, I'll go through some, but I'm not going to, like, sit there all day long. Okay. And then I have someone who will help me and kind of filter through... So I don't have to read every... Oh, so you give access to, mm -hmm. to your like IG personal? to someone else? Yes, I do give access. That's why they didn't open brave. mine. That's very brave. That's why they didn't open mine. <laughs> that's, was, that's, yeah. the, that's what we're going it with, guys. It was my day off. <laughs> and she, and she, yeah. that's well, listen, brave. thank you for coming on the show. Yes. Thank you. All right. Um, you have a super interesting past, that's for sure. A lot of people in our audience probably know you from the Call Her Daddy podcast slash situation. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely want to talk about that a little bit. I know you talk about it a lot. Right. You're probably getting sick of it. But our audience got to hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay, they might have not heard it before. Um, so maybe, I would say maybe take us back to when you, <laughs> you and Alex first connected. Okay, right yeah. off the bat. Here yeah, just go. straight goods. We got to get you guys clicks. And I'm, you know what? I care about you guys. I need the clicks. Okay. We need the let's, clicks let's right go. now. This is what we're doing here. <laughs> so I appreciate that, by the way. I appreciate that. Right? Yeah, we need the clicks. I'm a good person. Keep that in there. So when, so you're asking me like when I met her? Yeah. Or I guess, just kind I guess, of the origin story. Yeah, I guess how you guys first connected and what that was like. Did you guys start working together right away or? or so yeah. it's the craziest, most random shit. I take an Uber pool. Because I was broke as fuck, okay. working in finance, and I would use Uber Pool. It actually wasn't Uber Pool. It had a name. It was like V something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. And you would ride with a bunch of people, and like everyone would get <laughs> dropped off Some right strangers, along yeah. the way. And I met this girl, and we hung out a few times. And I wanted out of my lease that I was in. Okay which was a studio. I couldn't really afford it. And I had a mattress on the ground and I was like, I think I need roommates cause I'm really depressed in New York right now <laughs> yes. and I need friends. Yeah. Okay. So I tell this girl I'm looking for a roommate. She says, oh, I know a girl looking for a roommate. Okay. Then that girl happened to be Alex Cooper. Wow. So we meet up to go look at places. I'd never met her before, had no idea okay. anything about her. Yeah. And we signed a lease that day. Wow. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Like right. just right off the bat. Okay. So I'd known her a total of four hours and then we signed a lease to live together for two years. And, and then, then did you guys just become friends like right away, I guess? Instantly. Yeah. Best friends right off the bat. And you were still doing your thing in finance mm -hmm. at that moment? Yes. That's interesting. Yes. You were in finance. Yeah. I mean, I, like, I wouldn't guess that. Why? Yeah, I'm just, hey, I'm just saying. Wait, why? Wait, why? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't guess that. <laughs> no, but just, like, tell me. <laughs> no, like, no. It's just, it's just, if I was to guess, that's not one of my guesses. But, like, elaborate. Like, as to Because, no, okay, okay. You know what? Fine. I will. Now you're in media. Mm -hmm. 
very outgoing, very outspoken at times. Mm -hmm. The topics you talk about, stuff like that. So I just wouldn't think you came from a finance background. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, that was a good cover up. Yeah, he did well there. He did did, did, did did good. He's He's done this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) You should be in PR. (laughs) Thanks. Um, No, I fucking hated it. It did not come naturally to me at all. But in college, I was like, what the fuck is going to make me money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I know being an English major will not. Facts. So then I forced myself to major in economics and then started working for this like top five finance firm. And when I say that, people are like, oh shit. Like she was like, making you know, fucking cool. I was like a glorified secretary yeah. <laughs> when I, when I first started working there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I ended up transferring to New York, okay. working at the same firm. And then I kind of climbed the corporate ladder a little bit. And then I started call her daddy wow. while I was still working there. How does that begin though? Cause I've, I've like, obviously, we read everything online and uh-huh. everyone's got a different story. How did you guys, did you ever like, how, how did the idea first come to be? Who like, who brought it? Like who brought the idea? How did it start? How did mm-hmm. it get to Barstool? Like, yeah. So we had an instant connection and just like crazy chemistry. Yeah. Which you could see on camera. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And I think that was a huge part of the success, you yeah. know? And We were at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. And I remember we were like fucking around. We were drinking. We were at this bar and we were just, you know, bantering. And by the end of the night, we had like a group of like 20, 30 people just like watching us talk and like listening to each other. Amazing. And I was talking about like getting DP'd and just like being (laughs) fucking outrageous, you know? And people were like, what? Women do not speak this way. Yeah. To to their knowledge. So at that moment, I think it kind of clicked for her because she really wanted to get into the entertainment media space. Okay. That was kind of always her goal. Um, And she was like, let's start a YouTube. I was like, okay. Like, I I had no fucking clue. Mm -hmm. I didn't come from that world. I'm from Utah. No one in entertainment is in Utah. My family has no, you know. So I'm like, sure, let's start a fucking YouTube. I think we made one YouTube video. I'm sure it does not exist anymore. And then someone she knew was starting a podcast network. Okay. And this is five years ago when podcasting was just barely starting to take off. Yeah, brand new. And it was this company just ran by a bunch of trust fund kids who had no fucking clue what they were doing, (laughs) but they just had a shit ton of money. So we record our first episode with them and I think we did two more. So we did a total of three episodes. Okay. Release them though, or just record? release them. Oh, okay. And after the third episode, so three weeks into doing it, Barstool reaches out. That's how, funny. how well was the pod doing though? Like after, like, did it have any traction? Was it just like, whatever, you know, in terms of like, like the actual listenership, I don't know. Mm. Like, I don't even know if we had access to that at that point (laughs) at all. Um, So I don't really know, but it had enough traction that, you know, Dave Portnoy saw it on Instagram. I think he saw a clip and then decided to reach out. Was there any like early conversations with you and Alex that were like, okay, no matter what happens, like we're gonna stay friends. Like uh, this could blow up. Like I know me and Anth have had these conversations. That's the classic conversation, right? Though, like we've right? had these conversations. We've had millions of times. Yeah, millions of times. Yeah, yeah. It just didn't. That didn't matter. <laughs> I mean, I think, for, I think for me, I meant it. Like it stuck with me. I think for her, maybe not so much. Yeah. If you look at the text messages, like I was the one left on red, and I was like, "Let's try to fix things." And this she, was after the fact, right? Yes. Yeah. So, and she didn't want to. So. So Barstool reaches out. Mm-hmm. At that point, what is the conversation? What's the idea? Like, what's going on in both your heads? Because in New York, Barstool is Barstool. Like, yes. it's not a game. You know what I mean? They're huge. Yes. I don't know. They were still huge five years ago as well. But Yeah, they were massive. Yeah, they were like New York media in a way. Exactly. I had no fucking clue who they were. <laughs> oh, nice. Because okay. I'm, from, cool. I'm from fucking Utah. True, and true, then, you true. know. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alex had a very good idea of who they were because she would date a lot of athletes Mm -hmm. and she was like holy shit we need to take this opportunity this is fucking huge and at that time 
I was working in finance. I fucking hated my job. And Barstool came in with an offer that was a much, uh, not much higher, but significantly more money than I was making at my finance job. Yeah. Mm. And I just remember looking at it thinking, hold on, you're telling me I can just talk shit on a microphone for an hour a week yeah. and make more money than I'm making right now being like a slave driver at this fucking <laughs> firm where I will never like, you know, get to the higher ranks ever. Yeah. Sign me the fuck up. 100%. That was my mentality. And, and okay, so, you know, whatever, you guys signed the first deal. I'm actually curious, like, your mindset in terms of, like, you two were the first women speaking like that online. Like, today, there's a million now podcasts that are of, trying yeah. to be, like, that type of model and, like, what you guys created there and what you're still doing. But, what, like, what was that like? Like, was that uncomfortable for you? <laughs> Just, like, saying the shit, getting DP'd, this and that. Like, Did you mean everything you said? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to know. I and really want to know. You're like disturbed. You're like, <laughs> I really like, no no no. Women I, don't do that. Shit. I, no no no. I'm, I'm intrigued because um, you said a lot. You know, I just want to know if you meant what you said. Yeah. Uh, so I do want to just give credit where credits due because we do get all of the acknowledgement for being like the first female podcast to go there, and that's not necessarily true. There were. Okay. Other podcasts like Guys We Fucked, even though I think they talked shit about me like a few months ago, so I don't know why I'm giving them any <laughs> Cut it out. But Cut. hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, horrible decisions. Like there were. Okay. But I just don't think that they had the barstool platform, right? Sure. And I think Alex and I maybe did it in a way that was more relatable, I guess you could say. Yeah. Because I didn't really listen to too much of their shit. But back to your original question, we took it, we did take it to a different level with the shit we would say. Yeah, like, There yeah, was a was lot of shock value. A ton of shock value. Yeah. Like, what do you think is the craziest? Uh, I mean, listen, like, There's if I so got to pull up the clips, is it, we're, I don't know if you're going to be in trouble. I don't know if YouTube's going to allow this on the platform. That's true. You guys had a lot of crazy, just outrageous shit, which, like, then I guess kind of leads me to sort of his question, like, was, it was all of it real? Was it a little bit of storytelling just to like create that shock value? Mm -hmm. uh, on my end, everything was real. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Would I maybe like, you Exaggerate know. Exaggerate a bit? Maybe, but like I can't, I'm trying to think of a situation where I would. Yeah. I think I was like, I was pretty honest about my and, shit. And when you were saying that, like, were you ever worried about what people in your life would think at all? Like, I mean, like, even for us, for example, like, we, we talk, we give our opinion a lot about politics and shit like that, that can affect the people around you too, right? So did you ever feel like you were in that, that phase of, like, affecting people around you? Beyond. Yeah. Like, I remember the night before an episode would drop, I would just lay in bed, so, like, riddled with anxiety, could not sleep. When we released the first episode, my mom called me in hysterics and was oh like, God fucking block every single person we know in Utah. <laughs> wow. Like, delete your Instagram. Like, was pissed. Yeah. She was pissed at me for a long time. Yeah. But I was kind of like, Mom, like, <laughs> like, you know, I don't have to work at this <laughs> job where I was really actually suicidal at. Like, the, for real. Okay. Yeah. I know you can't say that in a joking way, yeah. so I'm just confirming. As you're laughing about it, I was going to kill <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to laugh at that of shit. Of course, yeah, of course. Fair. I, was, I was severely depressed, and yeah. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I, it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Of course. Of course. And do you think that the, even because you were still working after the first few episodes, so were you like, oh, this might affect my job, uh, or you didn't care at that point? I would walk into work. So they knew. Well, I don't know. Well, okay. It's hard not to. Though, I right? would walk in sweating bullets and yeah. just be like, oh my fucking God, <laughs> like what the fuck? Like when is this going to be brought up? Yeah. And then I remember there was this girl who was my coworker and she sat in the cubicle next to me and we weren't that close, but she looked at me and she was like, yo, there's this clip like going around the office and I just want to let you know, you should probably take that down or else you're going to get fired from oh here. Oh my God. And I was thinking to myself, no, I'm leaving here very soon. <laughs> okay. But there was a little bit of some overlap because there was like, I've actually never talked about this before. There was kind of this thing happening at the firm where okay. I had to file some like legal action, mm. which I've never spoken about. That was all happening at the same time. 
Damn, so this is like a whirlwind. Wait, you're fi filing legal action against the firm? Yes. Or someone at the firm? Someone at the firm. Okay. Some creepy guys there, eh? Beyond. It's finance bros, classic. Yeah. yeah. And he, I mean, it was like <laughs> creepy, like go through my desk when I'm not there, what? get super pissed at me because he saw that I had gone to a baseball game because I had a little chocolate that like showed I went to a Yankee game and it was insane. Okay. Okay. Finance bros. And he and he's my boss. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. So, yeah. Okay. All and right. like forcing me to go to lunch with clients and being like, look at how cute she is, like petting my head. It was oh like, my it was God. like a whole thing. Oh my God. Petting your head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, wait, wait. You can't just say it. that lightly and then just. He, I think he would just like kind of bring me out like a toy, like you know, That's like crazy. just sit there and just kind of you know. <laughs> But I mean, legally, what can you file against that, though? Well, I would tell him I don't want to go to and lunch. And he would still make you do it. And he would make me do it. Okay, okay. I, I would say no repeatedly. And then one time he actually started screaming in the middle of the office and it was very awkward. So everything was working out for you to leave this firm? Yes. Okay. And then I complained to my manager and my manager was like, it's just, that's kind of how it is. That's fucked. And that's Damn. when I was like, okay. Because I, I let it go on for a while. Mm -hmm. And then finally it hit a point where I was like, this is like, I'm like scared to leave work. Like he would like wait for did me. You, did you know any females that were in that industry as well at the time that you were like talking to? Like, hey, is this normal? That <laughs> No, I wasn't really that close with anyone who okay. worked there. I was like, get in, get out, do my yeah. job, you yeah. know? Okay. Um, But what, what? I don't was the original well, well, I'll, 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 <laughs> We're just going, we're just going, yeah, we're just like, going. We're just well, hold going. on, I'll, 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 I'll go from that point. You guys uh -huh. signed with Barstool, your episodes come out, you're working both jobs, then I guess you finally make the choice to leave, and now you're just doing uh, the pod. Yep. In terms of, like, how quickly is it like, holy fuck, I'm walking around New York and people are, like, knowing who I am? <laughs> it was like, I swear to God, three, four months into it. That's wow. fucking insane. And we, like, could not leave the apartment without that is getting... Stop. Did you like that or not? Nah? The boys are back in NYC. We're in Soho right now. We got a bunch of episodes planned, a lot of content planned. But before we get into all the content, we got to shout out Castanilla at my Castanilla on Instagram. Luxury property rentals. All right. They hooked us up. You got to see this place. It's a multi million dollar condo, four bedrooms, three baths, 20 foot ceilings throughout the whole place. All right. The boys had a good time. All the guests that came by loved it. So let's check it out. Welcome. You got the boys here? Guys, look at this spot, bro. Look at this fucking spot. Casania also has locations in Miami and LA. I know it does. This place does suit me, bro. All right? So, follow Casania at my Casania on Instagram. All right? Um, hit them up if you need any sort of luxury properties for any of your travels. Um, they're super accommodating super welcoming and they have the best hospitality. All right, check them out um, and enjoy all the content that we did this week. All right, out, we out. It's probably fun at, at the beginning. At first, though. yeah. at first I was like, what? Like this yeah. is fucking crazy. And then not so much. No, it wasn't that I didn't like it. I wouldn't go out of my way. Yeah. Whereas like my former co-host would be like, I fucking hate it. And then she'd be wearing like merch from head to toe. Like, Just in we, case. Yeah, like while we go out, <laughs> I'd be like, are you sure you're not into it? Um, but but now I love it. Yeah. But at that time it was overwhelming crazy. Yeah. Well, and it's also, also it's probably overwhelming because now getting signed, it became a passion. Now it's a job. Yes. So that changes a lot. Yes. Right? So I guess now you guys have more things to do. There's more pressure on you guys. So... Alex actually put a video two years ago. You definitely know about mm -hmm. it. She, her explaining her part of things. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things she said was that she would do more work than you. Right. Right. Okay. That happens sometimes, mm -hmm. right, in, in, in partnerships because some people are just better at things than other people. Um, what did you feel during that time? Did you feel like, okay, like she is doing a lot. Maybe I should help her. Or is she just being extra and doing too much? And like, talk to me about that side of things because I thought that was super interesting. I've been in partnerships my whole life. We're partners now. Mm -hmm. um, Who so does I, more work? No, we do the same shit. Well, okay. Oh, for, well, it depends. Before, it depends on this. It but depends before, on the, before that, quickly, I want to make yeah. a point: is that there are certain things that he does more of, and certain things that I do exactly. more of. But there's an understanding. Not, and, and but there's also like, it's not always at the same time. In a partnership, I feel like sometimes one person can be doing eighty, and others doing twenty. Yeah. But then in two months from that point, it switches. Yes. 
So I thought it was a little interesting to hear her say that. Yeah. And I thought being in a partnership myself and in former ones that that wasn't maybe the most fair thing to say. Yeah. So I guess. Yeah. Now, also, like the whole thing about not telling you about the raise. I kind of get where she's coming from, but I kind of don't at the same time because that's like that's just a communication. No, error. I, I I don't read that. Like, that's sorry. just a communication error. That. Like like you have to say something and just be like, well, this is the case now, mm -hmm. right? This is the this is the money or this is what I'm offered and this is how we can work this out. Not just I'm not going to tell you about it. So I don't really I don't really agree about that. Well, so a lot of people said, you know, when you're an employee of a company, you're not supposed to talk about how much you're getting paid in your salary. Okay. Yeah. This is not a regular company. No. This is not a regular like, you know, production that we're like putting out. Yeah. You and I are roommates. We are best friends. We share everything together and we are business partners at the end of the day yeah. and making decisions about like how we want the show to sound and blah, blah, blah. And even making the decision together to leave. Right. When yeah. we mm -hmm. both wanted that. So for her to not tell me and the lengths she went to for me to not find out. Well, there was lengths that she went to then. Cause yes. she made it seem pretty straightforward. She made it seem just like, I got off for this and then just didn't tell her. No, okay. no, no, no. She went and had a conversation with Dave behind my back. They had a, they had many meetings and conversations that I didn't know until later yeah. behind my back. And yeah. the only reason I know about them is because of Milf Hunter, who was her high school best friend who helped the show a lot. He okay. produced it okay. to a certain degree. And they had a huge falling out. Okay, and then when so Alex and I had a huge falling <laughs> out, we kind of we were like, up. what the fuck is going on? Okay. But, but, but to the like more work aspect of it, mm -hmm. would you agree that there were maybe moments <clears throat> that you were doing more than her and vice versa? Like, and sort of, I guess a little bit to what I was saying earlier about like, it just sways. It's like a teeter totter. Well, right? I was even going to jump off that and just like even the editing, for example, like, I mean, if you're at that level, why don't you have someone? Edit why, is, for you? why isn't someone editing the video? The question of the century. Is it like more like <laughs> it was just like a power trip where it's like, I need to have control over that? I didn't realize it at the time. Okay. But now in hindsight, that's 100% what it was yeah. because we would sit there and we would edit together in the sense of what content is staying, what's being cut and okay. in what way. But she would actually do the, you the know, fucking mouse and the Adobe fucking... premiere shit. Yeah. And I recognize that. And I said, you know, I would love to help out more because I know it can be very tactful. Why don't I just like take up some fucking classes and learn how to edit, you know? Wow, okay. And I proposed that multiple times okay. and she shut it down every single time. She never mentioned that one. No. Yeah, yeah. But now looking back, I'm like, it was her like sense of control over of the controlling show. controlling it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bec Bec yeah, yeah. No, no, go ahead. Well, I mean, you can say it. Yeah, no, I was going to say, like, if I was, if I was, like, at the beginning of the party and I was like, yo, aunt, I got to edit this, he would just be like, bro, like, we'll teach someone how to edit and just pay exactly. them, like, a, lo like the lo a low salary and just get it done at the beginning and we build it up. Vice versa, if he said, oh, bro, I'm just editing, you're wasting five hours a day, we could be scouting guests, we could be working on our socials, merch, everything. 100%. So I tried to help out in, like, where my strengths were, which yeah. were storytelling, you know, the writing of the episode, yeah. jokes, stuff like that. Yeah. Which she was actually having this MILF Hunter male friend of hers when I just referenced. The, the name is crazy. The MILF, Milf Hunter is just like, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> like, what a name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He is a character, but he would write a lot of her material. Okay. Um, so that, so then I kind of like stepped up in that way. Okay, cool. She kind of had like a marketing brain and I had kind of a creative. Which was already funny. understood when you guys started before Barstool, mm -hmm. probably, right? Like she, you yes. can realize someone's strengths and what they're not doing, what they're doing. Exactly. Okay. I so think it's just easier, let's say, as an employee to put a dollar amount on the Adobe fucking editing, the then hours. Then the intangibles, like right. you're saying, storytelling and stuff like that. You can't really put but a dollar amount on but that. But that's where you got to like look, I guess, and be like, hey, we're partners in this. Well, that and also, I wouldn't have cared if she was making more okay, money. That was my next I question. I would have been like, that was my next hell yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. You know, you have a skill that I don't, a mm -hmm. skill set. Why the fuck would I be pissed that you're making more? Yeah. And I know she felt like a little bit of guilt about it because when I started dating this guy who had money... Yeah. She would make like the weirdest comments. Like we'd be watching TV and she'd be like, 
you're probably like saving like a lot of money dating this rich guy, right? Like you're like able to put more oh, money. Oh, so saving. she was like guilt tripping in her head like, and trying kind to kind like, of mm. like yeah, you're not paying for dinners and stuff as much, right? And oh I'd be like, <laughs> I yeah, like I guess. Yeah. In the moment, you're like, all right, whatever. Yeah, and then I later I found out. But so. you, ne- you never like you never had a hunch or anything like that during the time. No. Okay. I was uh, <laughs> completely just like trusting. This is my. I really. Which is normal, which is, I mean, it was so early too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I guess there's, I I don't know where you were. No, no, I want to say like money wise, um, obviously you guys, again, blew up so quick. I still think to date, there's no podcast that has blown up that fast. That must have been the fastest of of all fucking time. We're trying, but we didn't. (laughs) Yeah, we're we're nowhere. (laughs) We're fucking three years. Let's not go there. (laughs) Let's not even, I don't even want to go there. But now um, it's a long game. It's a long game now. Now it is. Now it is. And um, like, I know the initial deal was like 70K or 75K, but you guys had a little bit of bonuses here and there. Uh After that blow up, what like, were you guys well over 100K? Like, so I'm trying to remember exactly. I know we were getting two paid 2.5% each off merchandise. Okay. Which is horrifying for anyone who is talent listening that's fucking crazy no yeah we we have a way better deal than that <laughs> shout out full sense yeah shout out full sense straight up <laughs> we had a way better deal than that right um i think they bumped it up or they were going to bump it up to i think 12 percent for okay. us to split uh-huh. okay so, so still six. ridiculous yeah um but the the merchandise was making so much fucking money. Which I can There imagine. was one hoodie that said unwell, right? Mm-hmm. Which is a saying that I made popular, by the way. Just by the so way, just knows. throwing that in there. It was my story. <laughs> I, think that's <laughs> still, like I, think that, I think she's still making merch with that uh-huh. today. I mean, until the day she dies, right? Yeah. And Barstool. <laughs> go off. But um, that one hoodie sold over a million dollars. Come on. Uh-huh. Jesus so, fucking Christ. So, yeah, we were making over 100K. Wow. Damn, pretty quick. But I don't think 200K, no. Yeah. No, I'm just curious because, like, off that initial deal and, that like, a blow up that quickly, you got to imagine that there's some, like, the bonus has got to be at least decent. Yeah, well, I mean. Yeah, yeah. We were making that, I and I did the math. They mm-hmm. were making over $11 million a year. They were they're making 100000 per episode, if that puts anything into perspective. And you are granted one a week? Huh? You were doing one a week, mm-hmm. one episode a week. So for us to be taking home a hundred something k a year from, is a from one episode, I'm, I'm wow, holy yeah. fuck, yeah, yeah. When you put the numbers like that, it's a hundred k an episode. How? And then you crazy. were just getting w- one episode. Worth. Yeah, I, I, was getting <laughs> I mean, I, I gotta say, wow. one episode a year. I gotta say, shout out Dave Portnoy for pulling <laughs> yeah, that one off. Jesus good. Christ, <laughs> what a that business man! Legendary. This guy he is, is you, real I, finance guy. Holy, how, how was your uh, relationship with Dave and? Um, during the time that you were there and, and all the stuff happening, how was that relationship with him? It was fine. Yeah. We didn't really uh, immerse ourselves into the Barstool culture that much. Okay. We would record from home a lot. We wouldn't, you know. Um, but the relationship with him was fine. My, like, his and I's relationship was very minimal and it was just business. Okay. His and Alex, I don't know. There were some things I would say are a little questionable, but um, <laughs> they had a they had more of a relationship. <laughs> Got to get the deal done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. Honestly, Alex, do we got it too? She <laughs> for the fucking deal. Um, and I guess obviously now you don't really have a relationship with him. No. 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 Okay. There would be no reason. To. <laughs> There's nothing. To- no. In fact, I think he feels the exact opposite. Oh, like really? we'll call people and be like. Yo, like you're you're recording with Sophia. Like, what the fuck is that about? So he did, I think he did that with Mike Ma- Malak. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, watch. I watched the pod. Great pod. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think he mentioned it in the pod. Yeah. Right? He's like, oh, he called me. He knew I was here recording with you. He's keeping tabs. I know, but like, why is he that? Interested? I guess he just wants to see what you're gonna end up like doing and and. But I feel like he's had to have had falling outs with multiple people. Like, does he just do that? No, with but he's everybody? got haters. Yeah, he does. A, he's, he beefs a lot of people. I think no? he just wants to beef people. Yeah, I think he's just bored. He, he just wants to people. fucking scrap. But he won't come at me directly. No, I don't think he would do that. I guess he can't because the whole like it's kind of like a like why would he do that? Barstool thing, like Andrew Tate vibes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's sneaky. He's smart. Yeah. So everyone talks <laughs> about. Everyone has mentioned the infamous uh, meeting on the rooftop. Right, mm-hmm. infant Was meeting. it a nice rooftop? I gotta ask. What does this rooftop look like? <laughs> what it, is? it was average. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. I know, like the. Roof, it just sounds crazy. The you know? rooftop like, meeting, like it sounds like it was 
like it's, he it's owned, a movie. It's like a movie. It's like a fucking. It Batman. was a shared rooftop. It wasn't even his <laughs> rooftop. Like it was a shared <laughs> common area. Like anyone could sit up there. This like is the truth, guys. Was, right? was there the other truth. people walking around during no, this meeting? No, because no. it wasn't that cool of a place to hang out. There were like four tables, like yeah. lawn chairs. Okay. Um, so you went into that meeting, from mm -hmm. my understanding, and you were just like, I just want to end this and move on. Yeah. Okay. We had our full plan. Our attorney, like, we had already been planning this for like eight months or something. Okay. Our attorney was on board. And then for some reason, after that meeting, she just did a complete 180. That's when everything changed, that meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was very confused. I was like... So I got to ask you about Suitman. Okay. Because we hear all about Suitman. Yeah. I don't know him well, you know? So I, I have to understand who he is. <laughs> Why would you know him? <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. I don't know him at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> saying, you know? <laughs> I don't think he's like hanging around. We want to get to know who Suitman is because he's a very popular name that we've been hearing. Uh-huh. Okay, so... Maybe who's Suit Man? Who is Suit Man? Who is the Suit Man? He was a guy that I dated okay. during the time that I was doing the show. Okay. And he was in entertainment to some degree. He worked in that field and he was very smart. And he kind of brought it to my attention. Hey, you're getting fucked. Like, I, I kind of already knew. Mm financially that we were but he kind of just like really made it very clear for both alex and i you know yeah yeah because i mean who's gonna tell me my family they don't know yeah. they don't know shit yeah i heard logan paul did too though logan paul that was the first thing when we went on impulsive he was like y'all are getting screwed. he took that episode down Logan did. Yeah. I, or we just can't find it. Well, I don't know. You should be able to find it. Yeah, it easily. should be very. Wow. Okay, so Dave, are people scared of Dave? Or like, maybe. What's the deal? Uh, no, but you know what? Because well, he works, kept calling out Logan. Well, a million times. And he also a million works. Times. I think they work together. Maybe. With, uh, with conflict with, of oh, interest. Conflict of interest. As always. So maybe, did he did he say it on the episode, though? Is like you got, or was it like. Yeah. No, oh. on the episode, he's like, you guys are getting fucked. Oh, that's why it's And gone. like, we're hiring. So Dave gave the call. Oh. And he said, that, that's yeah. got to go. That episode's got to go. <laughs> but I mean, why? Like, yeah. If you're not, if you're not if worried about anything. truth. Yeah. But also, Nothing I think to hide. Dave, I mean, whatever. Okay, anyways. Suit man. <laughs> suit man. Sorry. So yeah, did I... you start dating him when, after you got signed? Yes. Okay. Was that a little bit of a red flag, though? Because it's like, now I got signed. Now someone wants to date me. Like, did no. you think of that at all? <laughs> No. This guy's really trying to throw I'm just shade. asking. No, no, no. I'm just asking. I, don't, I think that guys would date me regardless. <laughs> okay, I agree with you, actually. Job. I agree. Thank you. No problem. Um, there was no red flag. I know there's this whole narrative, like, suit man came in and, like, he wanted to be their agent. Like, he was going to make money off that's of the it. That's the story. Yeah, that's Z how. Zero okay. percent true. Okay. Zero percent. Okay. If anything, when shit started to get messy, he was like, why the fuck did I even get myself involved in oh, like really? talking to you girls? Yeah, yeah, okay. You know? So no. None so of that so he didn't true. stand to make a dollar from from no. any deal. I mean, I think it's pretty apparent we were getting fucked financially. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I just I just want to make that clear because that's something that everybody says is like Oh, he was definitely going to make money off getting Be them a new deal, like whatever. Because that's the narrative that they, Barcel and Dave had to push yeah. because they couldn't just go after me. They're smart. Yeah. Marketing, like they were tactful about it. They were like, we can't drag Sophia through the mud, A, because she's a woman, B, because her listeners love her. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So let's blame it on the boyfriend. True. And that's how we're going to like spin it and yeah. still get people to like kind of hate her. Yes. And have someone to blame uh -huh. so that Alex can like keep this show and like keep it going. Yeah. And the whole team Alex shit. Okay. I don't know. I feel kind of bad for him. I mean, sure. Okay, but, but, but <laughs> what? He just wore suits all the time? Is that the suit man thing? I gave him that name okay. because I don't like to be public with my relationship. Oh, okay. That was his nickname. Yeah. And yeah, he worked, he was like an executive and he would wear a suit. And so that's what I called him. So if you, if you weren't dating him at the time, what do you think would have happened? I think one way or another. I mean, that's the other thing. Yeah. You think he was the only dude coming up to us being like, No, no, I, yeah, yeah. Well, that's for sure. Well, screwed. Logan of Paul course. did it too. Logan Paul, we had agents mm -hmm. telling us all the time, managers, like yeah. Yeah. friends, like pe everyone was telling us. Yeah. He just happened to be close to me and okay. close to us. Okay. Well, the, she, she made a pretty big allegation, which I think is like, you can't just throw this around 
that your initial contract got leaked at some point, New York Post, whatever. Yeah. I'll just say, what do you have to say to that? Happy Dad is available at a lot of your local bars and restaurants. You might even find it at some saloons. If you've enjoyed a Happy Dad, then you know it goes well with your burger, your wings, pizza, and steak. <laughs> People in California eat it with their sushi, too. Go to happydad.com slash find to find a bar or restaurant near you so you can watch the games with the boys while enjoying an ice-cold daddy drink. The ladies love it as well. If your bar doesn't carry Happy Dad, then ask them to call their distributor to stock up. You can't have a burger with that skinny can, can you? It's time to man up and drink Happy Dad. Happy New Year. Well, Dave leaked it. Oh, okay. The, when it says, like, we're getting paid 75K or something. Yeah, well, in, in, the, in her video, she says it goes it, it goes viral, whatever. They post New York Post, and then she, like, starts, she puts her hands up, and she's like, yeah. I had it, Sophia had it, Suitman had it, whatever. Yeah. Uh, that YouTube video is also taken down, by the way. Oh. Where she, like, scorches the earth, like, using my name in suit mans. That oh. was taken down, too. Okay. Maybe because, like, I could have sued for defamation. I don't know. But I decided True. not to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but... So you think... So D you're saying Dave was the one that put oh, it out. Oh, he, he has the New York Post in his back pocket. Like, they talk every fucking day. Okay. You know? Yeah. And But for... Like, why would he... Why would he want to do that? I think... Because it was like somehow adding to the story of like he had our contracts and uh, suit me on is trying to expose to the world how much we're like getting underpaid, just like oh, proving his involvement. Damn. That's like a fucking that's no, a they, twist. They that's a strategize. They did their fucking due diligence, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Meanwhile, I'm in my mom's basement, like fucking crying. Like I don't know, I don't know <laughs> where I'm gonna be in like a month from you now. You probably never thought you'd be in that situation, eh? Like just in general. No. No, like not that, at all. that's got to be, you know, regardless of who wants to say who's right, wrong, made mistakes or whatnot. Like, I can't imagine going from a finance job <laughs> and in like a year from that point, yeah. you're like, it's wor this worldwide dispute. Everyone's talking about it. Like, how did the fuck do you deal with that? I think to this day, I look back and I'm like, gr damn, girl, I don't know how, because I think I started my new show two months after. Okay. I had a friend who went through a very similar situation on a much, much smaller scale. Okay. And he ended up in a mental hospital, like, trying to take his own life. Wow. Like, that shit's serious. No, I can yeah. believe yeah. it. That's yeah. why I'm asking. That's just fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, I, had, I had hundreds, thousands of people being like, kill yourself. I'm going to kill your family. Fuck you. Yeah. Get raped. You know? Yeah. Now I know why you don't look at the DMs now. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I know there that. probably is some like residual, you <laughs> <Yeah>. know, <laughs> residual. Hate no, but yeah, comments. mentally, mentally, that's, that's a crazy. Fuck. Like that's a mental fuck. Yeah. Like so, how did you deal with that side of things? So, I mean, at first, I did the turn the comments off. Okay. Classic. That's a classic movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a classic movie. And then I kept getting advice from all these people saying you got to leave them on, mm. and I'm like, fine. So then I just wouldn't read anything, and I really just I went into survival mode and me going into survival mode is just really me and there's not a healthy way to deal with things by yeah, the way yeah. i'm just telling you how i got through it just numb wow. just numb it shut it down anything you're feeling does not exist and like keep it going what yeah. do you mean numb like you're doing drugs or something i mean i probably maybe drinking like maybe okay. like but i wasn't doing like heavy drugs like yeah, that yeah. It was, it was just, like, my body's natural reaction to trauma. Yeah. yeah. It was just, like, blacking it's like, take it, it out. away. Like, pretend it's not even happening. Exactly. Kind of you talk a lot, of, even about a therapist, having a therapist and talking to them as well. So is that something that started? No. I mean, I've been talking to a therapist since I was, like, in diapers. My mom, like, threw me in that shit immediately. Wow. So you're just a kid, you're just wild. a baby in there and I just was, like hey. I was fucking crazy. No. <laughs> like, what, what a seven-year-old <laughs> therapist talking to an eight-year-old? No, actually, though, <laughs> really? I'm dead ass. Like, I would, like, play in the sandbox and have a therapist. Yeah. I think because I grew up with a single mom, okay. and I think she felt guilty about, like, me not having a dad for uh -huh. whatever reason. Well, I yeah. mean, I guess there's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that there might be. <laughs> so she, like, threw me in therapy, like, at a very young age. And did that help after the situation, too? Like, having that outlet? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Was yeah. there anybody specifically, though, that you would say... 
helped you through it, sort of gave you guidance. Can I shout out for someone right now? Yeah, I want to show love Ooh. to anybody. I better think of that one really, <laughs> really clearly to get. We're gonna clip it. Wow. <laughs> it's a real clip it. <laughs> um, I can't say one person. Okay. I would just say my closest friends and mm. family. Yeah. And there were some people in the industry that, for sure, helped me that reached out. Okay. Cool. That meant a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna jump back a little bit quick mm -hmm. because um, throughout the story that we've heard it was like kind of apparent that like at one point you were just done with the deal. Like you, you just didn't want it. See, that's like a total, is that not true? No. Okay. That's a total mm. misconception. Yeah. And again, you have to realize my platform was taken away from me, which was the podcast. Yes. And I'm going up against Barstool Sports, everyone that works for that company, Dave Portnoy, yeah. his plat, his like various platforms, Erica Nardini, CEO of Barstool, her various platforms, and Alex Cooper, who now has a podcast. Yeah, it's and then like, I it's have my Instagram live. Yeah, like it's, that's <laughs> like oh, there's some fucking heavyweights. It's yeah. like it's like what you yeah. know. Yeah. So I had to keep that in mind, and that's why I went silent for so long. But. Um, was I totally done with the deal? No. Okay. I have text messages that I sent to Alex saying, let's try to work this out. Wow. The show's better, like, with both of us. Yeah. Was yeah. there ever a time in your head throughout that process that you're like, I can just go start another show? I mean, I had to, right? Yeah, no, I know you had to, but, like, when did you start thinking that earlier on, or was there a moment where, like, fuck, that's, that's the option right now I have? I started thinking thinking about it when we were not on speaking terms. No, this is when I started thinking about it is when I had a conversation with her ex-best friend. Okay. That was from high school. And he was like, yo, by the way, she's getting paid more than you. Yeah. She says this about you. Like, da 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 da. And then you were Damn. like, okay. And I'm like, ooh, I probably cannot trust this person. Bridge burned. But, but even yeah. in terms of like, obviously, when you guys are saying, hey, maybe we're going to leave, whatever. Were you worried about losing the call her daddy brand or did you just think like, hey, we are the brand so we can do this under another name? That that was the whole argument. Yeah. Is like what is what is in the name? Yeah. Like the show is the both of us, our chemistry, yes. our jokes, whatever. Yes. It's like people will follow us wherever we go. Yep. And then we can get paid, I don't know, a little bit more than 2.5% on merch <laughs> where we go, you know, Which like that, fun. that was the plan. But then, but, but then she went on to say things like, oh, that whenever they like gave you something that you wanted, then it was a new thing. That's called negotiating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Pe like when people like bought into that, like, oh my God. And then she would go back with like yeah, a counter. Yeah. It's like. Have you ever negotiated a deal <laughs> yeah, before? Yeah, like that's yeah. kind of what you do. But there were a lot of things attached to the deal that people don't know about where it, it doesn't make sense that I did not want to sign it. Mm -hmm. um, I would have signed it if Alex and I like decided, you know. Together type of we, thing? Yeah. But they wanted 100% um, of the rights to alcohol in yeah. perpetuity. Okay. And we would get no money. What is it? Sorry, explain to me what you mean by that. Like, what, what does so that mean? So, like, of alcohol? Happy Dad, for example. Okay. If we decided to release, like, a Call Her Daddy drink. Yes. Yeah. Barstool, for the rest of our lives, there'd be no royalties. Barstool would collect a check, and we would not. Interesting. Yeah. There were things like that attached to the contract. So, that, so we that like, was So, that was a conversation, like, hey, an alcohol brand is definitely somewhere there in the pipeline. Yes. Okay. And I saw that they had trademarked it, like call her daddy and daddy and shit in the alcohol space. And so I knew it was something they wanted to do. Oh, they were do. already ahead. Okay. And I thought to myself, you know what? Sure. They're going to hand us back the IP. Not that I like really trusted that Dave would do that. Cause you, you know, yeah, you never know. You never know. But like, what if this shit turns into like fucking Casamigos or White Claw? Yeah. We're going to be, we're going to look back and be like, what the fuck? Yeah. So. Or Happy Dad. Or Happy Dad. Sorry, you just got to, you know what I mean? <laughs> Boost it up. Come on. Come no, on. No, for real Yeah, though, no, no, for no, real. for real, for real. Absolutely. I would so, be pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of insane. Mm -hmm. I would probably have, we'd probably have something to say about that too. Yeah. <laughs> well, 100, well, I think just the, even the like signing the stuff in the back, like, 
uh, trademarking in the background is kind of already like, yeah, without you guys knowing is a little bit. Yeah, exactly. You know, there was there was a lot. I mean, and we were, you know, having private conversations, which is kind of just what anyone does when they have a job. Yes. You know, that's yeah. a normal thing. Yeah. But they're already like planning and shit like that. So I normally would not air out the specifics of business like the mm. way I do. But this was such a public thing of that course, I think it's it fair public. game. Oh, yeah. oh, it was absolutely fair game. Yeah. So then Sophia with an F was born. Mm -hmm. Your podcast. Mm -hmm. How how long after that do you launch that? Do you release that? I want to say it was like two-ish months okay and, and are you with a network like is there a, like a deal in place is it is it completely yours what's this like what's the bit if you don't mind me asking no, that's what's totally the business fun. side of it now so i own a hundred percent of the ip of everything cool. um i have a partner that obviously like helps with the ad sales yeah um and right now my team is really is small mm -hmm. and they're all just like people that i'm very close with I don't have like a huge, well, I do, I was about to say, I don't have a huge agency repping me. I am underneath WME, um, but that's like a whole different conversation. But like everything and every dollar that's come in has really just been something that my team or I have like made happen. Yeah. Nice. You know? And I guess the money's coming in, that's dispersed amongst paying people's salaries mm -hmm. or like whatever. Okay, so, cool. well, so you're well, almost like your own bit. You're, you're yeah. essentially running and operating your own business now. Which I had to learn pretty quickly. How to yeah, yeah, I, 100%. Yeah. Also, while I'm very severely depressed and I'm like <laughs> yeah. scared to even get in front of a microphone. But now it's been close to two years. Yes. Right? I think so. It was 2020, right? You started the show? Yeah. 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 So or just like at some point. Two-ish years. Yeah. Um, and I've only been back in New York for a year. Okay. And now I feel finally feel like I have my footing yes and I know what I need because mm -hmm. when you're creating a business or a team like half of it is you don't even know what the fuck you you're need you're just going with the flow and learning yeah, and I'm making like, mistakes yeah right I don't even know like do you like what kind of person do I hire I yeah. can hire so many things <laughs> yeah. you know so you're just looking at I guess close people to you now and you're saying okay I'll bring you on I'll mm -hmm. bring you on because I trust you but at the same time you did that with Alex too yeah but i guess it was a partnership so it was more intense yes um but do you ever worry about that as well like working with friends again you have trust issues <laughs> you have trust issues <laughs> trust issues uh no okay but i think it's because you the boss i'm well <laughs> yes i'm the boss but also it's not yeah i think it's like it's not this 50 50 yes thing. yes mm -hmm. yes yes you know? that makes sense and then even at the beginning of the pod when you came up with the, the branding and everything and you came up with the vision, what was your vision behind it now, knowing everything that you just seen and been on that podcast? What was your vision to be like, okay, this is the, this is the podcast I want to show the world now? I had no fucking clue. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. I had no fucking idea. That's a good okay. way to start. I just was like, I need to put some shit out yeah. because I have been dead silent for yeah. months. Looking back, I think I sh maybe should have taken my time a little bit. Okay. I was very like my agent and you know, people were pushing me to like get something out, but I had no clue. Yeah. And so I think that's another thing that's happened over these past couple of years is I've been kind of gaining the identity of the show as yes. I do it. Yeah. I think it's cool. I think you have a lot more variety mm -hmm. in your conversations and your guests. Yes. You're doing even solo episodes, host episodes. Those are dope. Yeah. Yeah. Your like mom your and your brother on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because your core Good fans thoughts. probably want to see that. They do. They say the same thing with us too. We love your host episodes when me and him just go off. There, like, that's their favorite, right? Yes, they love it. Yeah. In terms of, in terms of, you start the show. In terms of getting guests and let's say um, advertisers, was there any worry that like, like if they would want to work? They if they even want to work with you at all, or and did that happen or? Mm -hmm. No, in fact, it was the opposite okay. because I think people were like, whatever, you know, this girl has been silent. Whatever first episode this girl drops is going to be huge. Yeah. Because there was so much controversy around it. Yes. Yes. So there was never a worry about that. No. Okay. And they came. No problem. Yeah. Advertisers. <laughs> I mean, guests like any guest I've had on the show has just been on my own accord or my team. Cool. I don't have a publicist. I don't have, you know, yeah. someone like booking guests for me. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, we're the same way, so I get it. I understand. You, yeah. 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 Have you ever thought about hiring someone? Um, <laughs> Ernesto's DM. I mean, I actually think I want to make a point of that quickly. Every guest in the last, I'd say, three to four months has completely been our own, and it's just that's that's our tactic. S- comment. Blast a comment, DM a hundred times, like whatever. Like rocket emojis. Rocket emojis. Rocket emojis. <laughs> we make it happen. No, I, I gotta say shout out to my guy Dan Tells, by the way. For yeah, shout out Dan Tells. Quickly. Dan Tells. You probably don't even know shout who he is. Shout out Dan Tells. <laughs> He's our guy from Hubi. Hubi. Oh, Hubi. Yes. Oh, I fucking know you, Dan. Of course shout you do. Out. Come on, I shout love him. You yeah, made this happen pretty much. Okay. Because the DMs didn't. Wow. <laughs> you know? The DM, okay. rocket emojis didn't work. But Welcome have on. we have we considered it? Um, no. No. To be honest. I think yeah. I think it's just like if you want to come on our show and there's mm-hmm. a connection through people, whatever, that's the We've best had some people way. be like, yeah, I'll come on five thousand dollars. And I'm just like, uh, um, excuse me. Yeah, you've what? never paid for a guest, right? No. Okay. So no. we don't do that here. No. Yeah. I won't do that. I wouldn't even want to but sit send with the someone that, after. that you know, like I don't know. Uh, you know what's funny is I went on a podcast I will not say which. But you charge them. And they <laughs> I said no. Okay. And then they threw a dollar amount at me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I countered, yeah. which you're not supposed to do. You're Wait, not so first supposed you to didn't want money, and then you yeah. countered on their <laughs> offer. <laughs> wow. Which apparently is, like, very greedy and, like, you know, just yeah, makes yeah. me, like, crazy. And I just want more and more and more. No, listen, I would get paid to go on a podcast. No, I, I know. I pay for someone to come on ours. But I ended up doing it okay. for a certain dollar amount. And it was the first time in my life I've ever felt like a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> really? After everything? Yeah. <laughs> That's the first time? Come on. <laughs> I know, shocking, but I've never been paid for sex. And it was this weird thing where, like, I got brunch with them and then did their show, and the whole time sitting there, and I'm like, I'm getting paid. This feels wrong. Yeah. Is, is Aaron is Steinberg kind of starting a podcast? Steiny? Yeah. I was gonna say, was this, is this Steiny's new podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he could afford me, <laughs> to be honest. Wait, what's your price, though? Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I will not say, but with Steiny, I don't think there's a price tag. <laughs> Steiny is trying to do something, though, I think. Yeah, yeah, for I mean, sure. Seen he some, He's some always things. trying to do something. Always. That's my guy. <laughs> Whatever that something is. He gets so much hate, but you know what? He's a nice guy. I, I like have, Sta- I like I have a love lot. hate with him. I think everyone sure. does. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about podcasting a bit. Okay. Okay. I think a lot of people look at podcasters and they think it's an easy job. Mm-hmm. What's your counter to that? Because we've experienced it for the last few years and it's like, it, there's a lot that happens behind the scenes that it's like, it's, it's actually very hard to keep a, a podcast consistently growing. It's very, very, very difficult. Yeah. The market now is, I want to say the most saturated it's ever been. Yeah. I will say, I think that this is kind of a trend you see in a lot of um, spaces in entertainment where like, I think it might go down. Yeah. You know, it's going to get like too, Mm. it's going to get too saturated. The bubble's going to burst and then there'll be less. However, it's very difficult. You always see someone start a podcast and And they're like number one (laughs) and they like show that shit off. And then like, you never see them again. Of course. Three, four episodes. Yeah. 10 max. Right. And And then they're gone. Um, but it's, it's difficult and people think like, oh, you just hop on a mic and like talk your shit. Yeah. But the good podcast, like there's a lot of thought that goes into it. You know, there's a whole business behind it. Yeah. Um, you guys are lucky you have each other though. Well, I was going to say that that's, it's pretty difficult as a solo host. I mean, talking by yourself for (laughs) over an hour is fucking insane. That's so I was, that's my next question is like, what, what do you find are the most difficult aspects of having a podcast? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> the most difficult aspects. Or like, you know, like everyone says like, ah, even when you're doing the job you love, you're still going to have things that you don't like to do. So is there any of those things that, that you're involved with? I think the most difficult thing, and this is especially true when I have a solo episode, it doesn't happen all the time. But if you are having the worst day of your life, and like you just went through a breakup yeah. and like you're in your bed sobbing and you were so fucking depressed Yeah. and you have no choice but to get in front of a microphone and entertain people and be like, what's up guys? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm so excited to be here. That shit can be, I think that's really, really difficult. Well, well, how do you, how do you get through those episodes? 
I think I do that numbing thing. You do the numbing thing <laughs> again? Yeah, I, 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 gotta, I gotta talk to my therapist about that one. Um, or, or sometimes I'll be honest and talk about it. Nice. You know, it depends yeah. on the situation. Cool. Is there any, is there anybody that you've like, have you ever put out an episode that you didn't want to put out? Um, yeah. Is the sky blue? <laughs> is the grass green? Yes. A hundred percent. Okay. Why though? Oh, like, okay. I'll give you an example for us. Like uh -huh. we've done episodes where let's say, um, an agency, I can't say what type of agency or else is gonna really give it away, would okay. hit us up to interview somebody and we just know it wasn't the world's best episode. It's not gonna do the world's best numbers. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about now. But, <laughs> I mean, you, but know, you gotta I mean, like, but you gotta do it to like, f to keep a relationship going or build a relationship. So like, that would be an example for us of like why we'd put an episode out that we didn't love. I see what you're saying, right. Yeah, for a relationship, let's mm -hmm. say, to build something. Yeah. Yeah. So it can help you in the long run, maybe book someone else or get yes. something you need. Yes. Um, I have not had that situation, but I think there it's kind of, I'm kind of dealing with this exact thing right now <laughs> okay. in multiple instances. Sure. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, there have been some episodes I've done with guests where I'm like, you really are like a different bitch on TikTok. Cause no. like, you're like, you are not you funny suck. or yeah. conversational or anything right now. Yes, yes. But those aren't the episodes that I cringe. The episodes I cringe at were during the first few months of the show. Okay. When I was not in my right mind yeah. putting out episodes. Do you ever watch them back? Absolutely. Absolutely fucking not. Okay, okay. Hell no. Okay. Hell no. I hate that they even exist. <laughs> I hate that they exist, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I gotta get it. You done. had a good episode on No Jumper, though. That, that, was, that, that was, one was okay. That, was that, was that one I was like a little bit like mentally stable. Now I'm now I'm good. Now yeah, I just can a little handle. bit mentally stable though. <laughs> yes, but there are some that went out like holy shit. I was actually I probably shouldn't bring this up. Do it. I went <laughs> after this girl she's like a disney star who i grew up with without using her name so i never used her name okay okay but i went at her very hard oh and she was a big TikToker and posted like a four-part series wow and i thought that was very interesting like what if, if it was so bad what i did why are you putting your a face to the name, yeah, yeah, the yeah. name that didn't even exist. Oh, yeah. shit, true. You never said her name. I never said her name. So she just outed okay. herself. She outed herself because nice. she knew it would get views and whatever. Wow. Um, and it was very transparent looking back. Yeah. Uh, but that episode was fucking crazy. I think the things I said actually were taken down. Okay. And I actually had some, some sponsors pull out. That's how crazy it was. Really? Damn. I didn't think I said anything that bad, though. I mean, when, when you compare it to the other shit you said, you're probably like, yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> right. I mean, the, we do the same the shit. The climate changed, right? The climate <laughs> changed on me. Now I can't get away with that shit. Oh, my God. Um, you're single. Mm -hmm. Are you single? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. That's great to know uh -huh. for everyone. In Hi, the, everybody. In, I'm yeah, <laughs> actually met everyone in this in this room, but yeah, everyone that's watching. <laughs> wait, um, wait, 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 okay. Are wait, you wait. guys all single? No, I'm single. I'm not. I'm probably I'm the not. only single one in here, right, boys? Relax, I'm single. Are you single? <laughs> yeah. Relax. That's Are fresh though. Okay. So 50, I love how you say everyone is single. I mean, I'm, like I'm, I'm sure that I'm sure even the ones, you know. <laughs> Anyways, um, are you like trying not to be in a relationship now because of what happened in the past and you're trying to just do your own thing or are you open to relationships? I'm definitely open to relationships. I kind of was in this thing up until recently. Now I'm really single, single, single. Um, single, single, single. Yeah, yeah. The that triple, sounds like triple getting like, more single than that. Triple threat. Single. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely open to to whatever, but I'm yeah. not seeking. Mm. You said something about relationships on one of your pods. Mm -hmm. You actually um, like told people that they should cheat. They should or should not. They should. Might have been an older episode. Maybe you changed your mind now, but <laughs> okay. I'm definitely intrigued like, by that really statement. Say that? Well, no, I say. <laughs> things similar to that yeah, okay. how, how did i say it i think you said i, I don't know how you said it like you, one, you said it I, in your way i can't even say the way you said it um, did i say like a one-time cheat maybe Everyone you were talking oh it was the sneaky link it was a sneaky link episode that you had you were talking about having sneaky links and it's okay to have a sneaky okay, but what's link. your Just thoughts right. on that though yeah now i'm curious 
<laughs> so you were you actually said. Uh, so you it's, know, oh, so you it know. Yeah, it's okay. no, no, the sneaky link part I know. Okay. You said it's okay to have a sneaky link if you keep it a sneaky link. Everyone watching a sneaky link is someone you're just fucking and nobody uh -huh. knows. There had to, I had to have prefaced it with something okay. else. Okay, I don't know. But how do I feel about cheating? Yes. Um, I just recently think it's a bad thing. <laughs> how how <laughs> That's <recent>. amazing. <laughs> like in this past year. That's okay. amazing. Um, I don't think it's cool. I do think that a lot of people are very delusional about it, particularly women okay. dating men who are A, powerful, slash B, have a lot of money, mm -hmm. which go hand in hand usually. So you think those guys are cheating for sure? Yes. A, a, high, high, most high of percentage. the time. A high, high percentage. Damn. So if you don't want that happening, go date, you know, like a farmer in Kentucky. If you do... If you do want to risk it, just know there's like some risk involved and be real about it. Kid, Are you going to break question. up with him? Are you going to break up with him over it? Or can you like turn a blind eye? So do eye? you plan to risk it? Will you risk it all? Will you risk it all in the future? To get cheated on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> for the power, for the money. He would have to be fucking rich as fuck <laughs> and powerful as fuck. Because I, I make my own it. money. Yeah. See, like that that's a thing that I think is, yeah, I agree. I think it's a very high percentage of powerful rich men that i mean they so, got options. hold on i gotta say something they got there's options. a difference i have options yeah. there's a what difference up? between <laughs> there's a difference between just like a a, a little cheat here and there compared to <laughs> hold on wait hold on wait 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 what the fuck is a little cheat here can i explain okay go ahead go ahead there's a difference between like uh out at the bar random smash whatever it never happens again you don't think about that person and like a full-on affair like those those I believe they're very, a lot of people will be like, no, it's still the same. I think that, I think they're very different. If you're having a full on affair well, and there's affair, like emotions yeah. involved and you're like smashing this person consistent compared to like. Like you have two relationships pretty yeah. much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even if fun. one is just like at 30%, I yeah, still yeah. think it's like fucked up. So you're okay with a nice sneak. Well, no, no. Like what, okay, sorry. My point, I gotta go back to my point <laughs> is that these like really rich, wealthy men, I feel like they're more, they, they tend to have more of just like the random one off, smash a fucking escort. Wow. whatever go on vacation with their boys smash a thing yeah could you handle that see i don't agree with you i think some of these really rich guys like can have like the whole second family oh they have shit. like a structure set up yeah, yeah, i guess yeah. i've never dated a rich man because they can so i wouldn't know <laughs> i mean i've dated guys with money i haven't dated like you know okay uh, <laughs> not like, like a billionaire I, I haven't dated like a russian oligarch that's next on the <laughs> list is that next like would you but answer you're their watching DM? this and you're a russian <laughs> oligarch but please, if i please. were to date a russian oligarch let's say mm -hmm. i'm gonna he's he do can your cheat. thing yeah. yeah cheat away that's crazy okay. Go that's ahead. so crazy though to me it's i mean <laughs> i, I know no i know it's the world we live in right. i get it which is crazy but, but i think I, it's the world's <laughs> always been the world I yeah, think. but yes. I think now, and especially in this industry and like entertainment or modeling or whatever it is, women, women are out here cheating too. A oh, hundred percent, they are. That's his thing. That's what his, do you mean? No, you say like women are out here doing. Oh, hundred percent, they're doing the same shit. You can't trust these. Holes, they might be right? worse now because <laughs> of social media. So, what do you think about social media and relationships and stuff? Like, you think you think people are getting into less relationships because of social? Uh. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, just because they feel like they have more options out uh -huh. there. But I don't think it's just social media. I think it's just like a generational thing. Our grandparents yeah. are like, but I mean, yes, it made everyone way more accessible. Okay, mm. so For now sure. moving forward mm -hmm. in your life, mm -hmm. in your career, yes, what are you looking for in a man? I am looking for security not financially but kind of yeah he has to make <laughs> yeah come on come on come tell on tell us what you feel what do you want what do you really want what do you really want he has to make more than me it doesn't have to be significantly more okay but more okay um but when i say security what's actually more important to me than that is when i have a super stressful fucking day I can go home and he can be my rock and my security blanket and see things from, you know, an outsider's point of view, give me advice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, definitely not a guy who is calling me over and over and over and over again because I'm working a 16 hour day, which was an issue that I was running into. Damn. That shit is not going to work for me. He has to have his own thing going on, security for me, and 
basically just be completely obsessed with me. Wow. And looks are like <laughs> not. No, you said okay. this before in a pod. I don't believe. I, was, no, I, I don't believe. I, I, I don't believe that. I just can't. I was gonna ask this question. Did, like, what's the what's the <laughs> out of ten? How much do looks matter? What's the, yeah? He yeah, has okay. everything else. He has everything else. Like everything you named. Mm-hmm. On a on a scale of one to ten, where what's the lowest he can be? Oh, okay. Like on a one through ten of his hotness, how low could he yes. be? <laughs> a six. A six? Damn. Okay. You would settle down with a six? Yeah. Damn. If he has everything else. That's fu- okay, that's fair. But also, does that count like his sex game and like dick? Well, I'm mm. saying you're gonna be you're gonna be fucking a six for the rest of your life. If it's a six with a, great with a six? sex game and like great dick game, like a six with a six. Wait, wait, can you rank these two guys out of 10? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. First of all, I wanted well, to ask you actually. I don't know actually. their dick situation. <laughs> that, so just what do. you've seen so far. <laughs> okay, guys, relax. So okay, far. guys, hold on. Do you, <laughs> Could you stand up and pull your, pull your, pull your pants, pants down? <laughs> <laughs> pull your pants down. I mean, you're, you're kind of wearing like a robe already. I'm like. wearing pajamas. Okay. You okay? Okay? I'm ready for it all. Uh-huh. I'm Have ready you ever heard for a plug talk? Do you? No, I'm just kidding. Have you ever heard a plug? We finished the episode usually with a plug talk. It's like a 10 okay. minute series. Segment. I'm Fuck, fucking with my, you. My girl did not tell me that. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. We didn't tell her either. Um, <laughs> do you like mustaches? Yeah. Thank you. I love facial hair. Thanks. No, you look good with a mustache, bro. But it's no, scary. I don't. I don't. I don't. Is, you look scary without one. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't done it in a while. Because you're that scared. Like the shit. It just, it? you just, I think. I don't know. Like, I feel like there's an age when, like, it co- becomes cool <laughs> again to, like, shave your whole face. I'm not there yet. I don't know. I feel like you guys are scared of what's underneath. No, I've shaved my mustache before. No, oh, listen, you he's have. got a mustache, so he's pretty much showing everything. Yeah, yeah I've done the okay, most so I could. You have a mustache. Have, what is this <clears throat> called, what you have? I have like a. Just facial hair. So we did, a, we did a thing in Miami where we did a little bet. We and put then a poll out. We, we put, put a poll out. out. And everyone wanted them to have mustaches, so I, I shaved them a nice mustache. Okay. I gotta show you the pic. You gotta let me know what you think of the mustache. Yeah, I, might, I might have to bring it back. We'll have to pull it up. Um, yeah, yeah. You look good with a mustache. Thank it, you. it depends a person. Thank you. Know? you. I appreciate okay, that. I'm put, never gonna shave my mustache. Put the now shades that you said aside. That. I let you know that. Put the shades aside, okay? Because the <laughs> yeah, shades are kind shades, of a joke. Yeah, I need no, to know. Wait, what are we talking about? Looks like a NASCAR driver. Shades, holy shit. Put the shades aside, though. Come on. It's so hard to put those shades aside. You okay? So he has facial hair. You have an actual mustache. That's a straight up. No, you can't do that. I can't. No, but do I it, right? actually. Thank you. You know what's Thank crazy? You. I usually Thank do you. the mustache that's all shaved. If everywhere. you only had a mustache right now, like I would be getting um. What's but his what face? else do I have? I have a what's soul his... patch. That's it. This is a soul no. Patch. But you have hair connecting. You haven't really? shaved in a while. Damn. If you just had a mustache, you would rem- you remind me of like the French guy from the Pink Panther. Oh my God, I know exactly who, who, who you're talking about. That's like so like somebody pull that so like mustachial. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> I, I have no idea. No, you're gonna see it and fucking snap, fuck bro. Wait, that? what is his name? You could just type in it's what Peter you said. Sellers. I think you'll find it. Peter Sellers. <laughs> yeah, that's the, yeah. Jacques. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. You do have I don't like mind a, it. a French vibe. Do I? It, especially Bonjour. Ju- <laughs> Bonjour. Does, does right. your does your man of choice have to speak many languages? No. No. But that's a plus. Is My it? family speaks Spanish. Okay, cool. Do you so speak Spanish? I can understand everything. I can get around. Okay. Like if you drop me off, you know, in Argentina, I'd be fine. <laughs> okay. Could I have an intellectual? Like, could, could I go on like a Spanish speaking <laughs> podcast? <laughs> Fuck no. I'd love to see that. To be that honest. would be really. <laughs> that no. would be good. Um, <laughs> We're going to have to ask you the question, the main question. Okay. Right? I know you got to go to the dentist soon. What time? Are, are we are we Guys, Sophia's got to go to the dentist, okay? Dental, okay? A dental cleaning? You guys don't do that No, no, that's, that's amazing. No, I'm just saying. That's that's <laughs> where you got to go next. Yes. So we're very we're very respectful yes. of your time. No, I've been having no, the best No, before time. the famous question, I I, have a, I, I put out a, like a thing like, hey, ask Sophia any questions that you have. Oh, great. Yeah, some outrageous that. ones, but I got a pretty, fu- I thought this was funny. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you'll find it funny too, actually. Uh, let me pull this up. Hold on. I'm still fully engaged. I just wanted to get a little video of us, which I guess we'll do after. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, we're gonna do lots of videos. Oh, uh, we are. <laughs> oh, well, plug talk. Yeah. <laughs> plug talk. Here we go. Yeah. Um, plug talk's another room. Okay. okay. <laughs> so this this person, uh, I'm not gonna even give him any clout here. Um, <laughs> Damn. Do, do you Jeez. think? <laughs> sorry. This poor guy. I can, I'll, I'll be honest. I can't pronounce it. Mm. That's oh, okay, more okay. what it is. Mm. I'll just be honest. <laughs> do, do you think? 
Alex Cooper is really a, fe a feminist liberal or just faking it for the money? Wow. <laughs> That's a fucked question. <laughs> and I'll bro. preface that quickly because <laughs> if you watch the show now or yeah. I've seen clips of it, I don't watch, I don't watch, I don't watch, I don't watch I don't a show, watch. but I see clips. It is very like fucking Oprah Winfrey yeah. vibes now. Wow. I, I haven't listened, but I've heard. Uh-huh. From a lot of people that's how it is that's yeah. why like i've tried to just stay true to myself and how i am um i don't i don't know enough like i don't <laughs> i don't watch her shit or yeah. know yeah. anything i mean what she did to me i don't think is very feminist like but yeah that's okay. actually true Maybe sorry i thought that was amazing because yeah, i love that's, amazing that's and I'm hold on, can i also just say allegedly <laughs> i think maybe she's not because I th feel like I'm going to get sued right now. No, for just what? Because I answered that. <laughs> no, no, no. Allegedly. Everything we're saying is fucking Everything alleged. Everything is just allegedly. allegedly. We're talking about a dream world here. That's it. Mm -hmm. Well, I can just imagine. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. Uh -huh. Speaking. But okay. that was a great out of the gate question. Hit me with another one. <laughs> you want another fucked up one? Okay, another fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm now I'm into it. Okay, because they can get pretty fucked up. I have some too, actually. You got some too. Yeah, pull oh, them up. Oh, Jesus. They're both scrolling through their phones. We have to do it. We have to do it. Okay. Where is the craziest place you've had sex? Macy's dressing room. Holy nice. fuck. And nice. That's amazing. It nice. came on one of the shirts they were selling. Did, they, did you buy nice. it? No. You just left it there? You think someone else bought that? I don't Thought know. Thought it was part I of the felt, design? I felt really bad. Oh my God. Why does she deny her love for Steiny? Oh. Because <laughs> I'm scared of getting hurt. <laughs> no. <laughs> Steiny would never hurt you. Really? Steiny would never do such my a mom, thing. My mom met like a bunch of like she met Kyle and um, Sammy and whatever, John. Mm -hmm. She like met everybody. Okay. And the one guy, she was like, I don't know that Steiny kid just seems really like, like an asshole. Mm -hmm. I was like, mom, why? He's, he can be, I don't know. He's my guy. Is he in love with me? Uh, I mean, from everything that I've seen. <sighs> no. I'm, no, I'm going to say yeah. I'd <laughs> I'll say, say yeah. I'll listen, say, I'll I think if you gave Steiny a, a real chance, yeah. you he might lock show him down. You. Yeah, I think he could. Yeah, I have some texts from him. <laughs> um, okay, I have another one. Okay. This is from our girl, Aunt Julie. Shout oh. out, Aunt Julie Mack. Love you. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Big supporter. I love our female supporters, to be honest, because we only have, I can count them on my hand, you I, know? Yes. Um, if it's not too much of a rough one, how did she find out about the Spotify deal with Caller Daddy? Hmm. Like, what, what, what happened? <laughs> Fuck. Did you start breaking shit and like, oh my god? Oh wait, are you saying how I found out about it or yeah. like my reaction? Like when you found out, or like how well, you let's found say out both. and your reaction, yeah. It's Ooh, that's a good question. I'm trying to remember. I think it was like one of my friends who's in the industry just sent it to me, and then I was like, you know what? I'm good. I'm. You know what? It's whatever. Mm -hmm. I knew how much that shit was worth, hence why I wanted to go. But then, <laughs> like, my agent called me and like people started calling me like you're going to be fine, like, blah, blah, blah. And then that's when I started that's when you're like, like, I'm like, fucked. <laughs> wait, should I, like, not be feeling okay right now? <laughs> so, yeah. But did you even, like, just jumping on that question, like, did you even think that that would be a possibility at all? Like, even when you were in Caller Daddy still? Uh, those are big. That's, a that's big huge. Like, I don't even number. know if you think that was, of that. That was a huge number. Um, and I know it was, like, it was, like... Alex Cooper gets 60 million. We obviously know that's not how it went down. Yeah. Barstool took. It's a good headline. Yes. I heard Barstool like really went hard on that deal and like walked well, away with a lot. Okay. Um, but <laughs> did, I mean, yeah, it kind of, it was a little bit hit me like of a ton course. of course, Yeah, no, yeah. I can Even imagine. I knew how much it was worth. I was yeah. kind of like, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. But, I can imagine that. I don't like harp on it at all. You can't, you can't. If anything, I kind of, maybe this is me like just completely in denial and just talking out of my ass. Getting that amount of money that fast. It could fuck you up too. Worries me a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I think the money to my first question can potentially, I'm not saying it's true because I don't know her or mm -hmm. the show very well. Um, I think it can make you just do things that you're not you're not you don't really love 60 like, mil you got to sell your soul well, <laughs> well exactly well okay he, yeah. you, you just said it you went yeah. out and said it. i was no, that's, no, that's what it is true. no no, no. That's, what it that's is. what i'm saying i think that's why the first she doesn't question, have like if she wants to say something and they don't want her to say she can't say it it's as simple as that yeah i can imagine i don't know well also how did she get there she kind of had to step over a couple people 
Yeah. Usually when people like have a lot of success like that, a yeah. lot of times it's because they stomped over quite a few people. Some people, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess further to that, I have another question was, does she have any regrets over the whole situation? Does she? No, do you? Oh, I was like. He's asking from I'm asking our, our oh, family. I was like, yeah. you can call her. Like, I don't. Oh. Um, do I have any regrets? No, I don't have any regrets, actually, at all. I, th I guess my only one, in hindsight, I wish I would have been more vocal with where I stood and my side of the story. Mm. But I actually, I don't regret that. Yeah. I didn't know any better. Yeah. yeah. I had no idea how to handle that. Well, it was no kind of like a storm. You kind of had to just let it pass. Yeah. And let people forget about it. Anything I said, it didn't I was going to get trampled. No, yeah, it yeah, wouldn't matter. True. You could have like begged for forgiveness. Yes. It wouldn't have mattered. Apology videos, no. unless you did something of beyond fucked up, you should never do yeah. one. I was going to say, why, why did you never do a video like she did? The whole like, tell all, fucking 30 minutes. Like. I think because I knew what I was up against. True, true. And I was like, I, it, I'm still just going to get fucking yeah. trampled here yeah. Yeah, yeah, fair. so it's fair. better to just like leave people like and kind of let it speak for itself let's see if they like the show like once i'm gone yeah 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 thing. fair enough Beauty. Mm -hmm. fair enough give it to her bro okay listen you guys we could probably sit and talk another couple hours she's got to clean her fucking teeth okay come back I mean, after the dentist we'll, we'll, we'll keep I mean, it going i have like five ten minutes if you guys okay see. beauty let's keep going okay then. let's keep going <laughs> let's, let's okay, the famous question but it's fine uh dean had a question what was your question I had a question. Yeah, I you asked a question earlier, like a no? DJ. Yeah, he's he just <laughs> DJ DJs Dean. on the side for us. You can't oh, hear the music. Oh, I don't was remember. Ratings? You wanted, you wanted ratings. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You never did it. You you kind of avoided the question. You got to rate each of these guys oh, yeah, based on what you've seen so you far. Oh. And also the two behind you. Oh, I actually <laughs> okay, do thanks. have to go to the dentist. No, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, I gotta leave. No, I no, no. Fuck out of here. One through ten. I okay. Well, I don't know the penis, so that already puts me. How much? How much does a penis matter in the rating? Well, she made it, it clear it's pretty not so, a lot. It's not so much the penis, it's like the sex game. Okay, Are you going to cool. go down on me for like ever? It's kind of that. But <laughs> just solely Wait, based do you, on do look. You want that? Uh, do, is that what you want? Yeah. Okay, that's what, okay good. That's what, what girl I'm, doesn't I'm just want confirming that. things here. Yes. We're doing affirmations together. Affirmations? Yeah. Is that an affirmation? <laughs> I didn't know that was an affirmation. Okay, doing it listen. Together. I'm going to say everybody in this room is above average. Beautiful. That's and an easy way out though. That's such an easy way out. Such, such that was a such easy, a cheap that's fucking such a answer. Cheap Wait, so that means we're all at least a six. Yeah, so yeah that's okay. good enough. All right. Okay, so who's oh. trying to fuck? So everyone's got a chance here. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. no, no, no. Bank account, powerful, but like all okay. of those. Well, come things. on, we got a happy dad deal. Yeah, yeah but come I on. mean, we would I'm wearing need a, pajamas. We, like, we need to pull up your. He uh, wore a robe. I'm wearing a like, robe. Come on. No, there's like 50 other things that are way more important. We took our friend's condo. Look at this condo. Like, look at us here. We're trying. <laughs> this condo's fucking insane. Can I okay. throw a house party You could here? definitely. Yes, We're going to connect the dots. We're going to connect. If you answer a DM, it could possibly happen. No, but you should I'm definitely not sure, film though. some episodes in here. I don't know if that's a possibility for no, you. No, no, you could do it if you want. No, no, I, no, we, can, no we can make it a possibility. I'm yeah. saying I love if you'd that. like to, yeah. Okay. We will connect the dots. Yeah, if you want to have us on your show or whatever. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> wow. All right. That was really good. That, that was well good. Done. You guys well are done. hilarious. Thank you. Thanks. Um, so what's next for you? Like, what's the what's the ultimate, or, or you don't have to have an ultimate goal. Like, what's the next 10 what years? Is like, what are you trying to do? Goal? The next, your five-year plan, next yeah. 10 year shit, I hate. I know, but I, I just got to ask. I, it's my job. You know? I, like, it's actually my job. But do people really care? Like no, when they're listening to the podcast, no, they, they like, care. But they you know what? It also is. It's like a manifestation for yourself that you can actually come back and look in our pod mm. in five years and be like, "Oh, see, I she's said not going to watch this back." They, okay, <laughs> she's like, "Bro, I did you this." I'm like, "Fuck my episode." <laughs> yeah, like, this. um, I am working on a few different things, and I think I'm really honing in on what am I actually really passionate about. So I think in the beginning it was like, let's make this podcast the biggest fucking thing ever. Yeah. And although that's still kind of the core of the business, I think there's other avenues that I would do really well in and that I want to flirt with, okay. you know, and try them out. Like what? Like real estate or something? Yeah. 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 Like that type of shit. No, that's dope. Trust the open Selling deli. Selling condos like this. Yeah. yeah. But can, no. Can, can, you, mean, can you give us like an idea of one of them? I mean, I thought about a book, like a live show. The live show thing, I really do want to start, you know, meeting my listeners and stuff like that. I Sick. don't know if that's like 
Do you guys do? No, we're actually planning to do one of those. Or we got to do, do, yeah. Just doing one or like just a trying one. We're going to try one and just see how it goes, meet people and shit right. and then take it from there. Yeah, I want to try one for sure. But I really want to do something big, big, big. And that I can't really talk about what it is, but yeah. it's in the works, which is okay. the most annoying answer ever. I think all those yeah, things no, help that. each other too. That was great. No, love that, that answer. Great. We're going to clip detailed. that. Dean, clip that, please. I think all those things help <laughs> each other though. That was great. I think even a book... Then doing the live show, like it all helps each other, right? Yeah. And but those are like the things that I can, you know, straight up say, like I thought about. But I think that there's bigger, to your point, five year, ten year plans that like I need to strategize and think about, and which is, I will be doing. Is your yeah. future in New York? Yeah. Yeah. You like it here? I, I, I wanted to ask you at the beginning. Yeah. Love. Miami, you guys though. don't. We, we're Miami boys. Miami. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, no, no, but, but we do Miami different. Miami no, we do Miami, gone. like, we go there and we work. We're not at 11 every night, like, with strippers. See, yeah. that's the only thing I know about it. I oh, okay. know, but you gotta come, There's you a gotta whole come other see the side. whole other side, the working class side. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't want to be with the <laughs> working class. I don't want to be with like, the working class. <laughs> that sounds fucking awful. You guys are not at 11 every night? Like, no. Uh, New York reminds me of Toronto. It's the, we're way smaller, but yeah. it's very similar vibes. Um, and you guys both live in Miami. Well, well, we're we're Toronto, Miami. We're, well, we just we bought a house there recently, yeah. Okay. So we're just very back and forth. And I've noticed a lot of I don't know, maybe you can agree or disagree, but we notice a lot of like guests and creators are actually Going making their Miami. way, if not like living there, just spending a lot of time there. Like we've had some of our best guests out in Miami. Okay, that's mm. good. To, I mean, I will end up in Miami before I end up in LA. I can tell you that. LA fucking sucks. I. I can yeah. it. LA is the worst yeah. city of all time. I agree. That's I mean, that's bad. kind of a bold statement, but you know what I mean. No, Clip I get, it. Yeah. Clip, <laughs> it. Clip, <laughs> Clip it. Clip it. Yeah. Um, okay. Now you probably got to go. I don't want to get some pics and stuff after. So, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, appreciate you coming on and doing this. Uh, this has been great. Thank yeah, you was, so yeah. much. This was so fun. Yeah, yeah fun this has been great. We'll I definitely have to run hours. this back. No, 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 for sure. Um, but we do have a famous question. Mm -hmm. We are the MBH podcast, Money Buys Happiness. Okay. Do you, Sophia Franklin, believe money buys happiness? Yes, uh, at a certain dollar amount. Okay. And then I think it can have the opposite effect. Interesting. You can't trust the people you're around. Do they like you for your money? It gets to your head. People do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> you're like, lick my shit off the floor. <laughs> They'll do it. You can't trust people. Mm. But I think there was a study done, and they said... It was like 70K, depending on where you live. That's got to be the fakest shit I've ever no, heard. They, they, it was, no, it was, it was, it was 75K, but they recently changed it. Oh, They to put what? it to 500,000 now. That was I, that was super recent. The 75K was like maybe like a year too old, and then they just did 500K. They bumped it up to 500K? Yeah, they said well, money. the fucking cost of like milk is like $50. Yeah. Well, so that's like, true. Inflation, yeah. but what, I think also depending on where you live, right? True, true. 70K is not going to do fuck all in New York. No, 70K no can do nothing. Yeah. You're living in like the closet like behind you. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, but I think there's like a certain point, which I guess maybe I'll say 500K. I'm thinking about New York. Yeah, 500K would be good, comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, And then I think, you know, it can reach a point where it's like you're miserable. Every billionaire I've met, and I met a few because my I have a lot of friends that are sugar babies. Beautiful. <laughs> um, They're fucking miserable human beings they're saying the billionaires are, mm -hmm. are miserable and i've seen it firsthand yeah. yeah i mean once you get to that level think about all the shit that you had to do to get there yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you just can't live with yourself <laughs> right? probably like you know what i mean like shit. yeah 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 100 percent. right and they're super superficial because it's like you know they're just I'm, living a different i'm life. so rich <laughs> i don't know why that's the voice but i'm i mean so i'll take rich. a billion i won't complain i mean i would too yeah 100 <laughs> yeah, me too step on a couple people whatever we'll get the yeah, job done yeah um okay wow thank you thank no, you so yeah. much no guys, for real appreciate great. that hope you enjoy the dentist i yes. will don't get thank too you. wild yes. over there don't get what? Don't get wild over there. I won't like, get wild. I mean, after this happy dad, That's though, true. maybe. Shout yeah, out true. happy dad. Yes. You needed that. Wow, that, that was, was a huge, huge. plug. Thank that was you. huge. I got you You've guys. You've done this That's before. You have done guys. this before. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, if you made it fucking here, we love you. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, DM us. He only has three requests. He will answer them. I need more requests in my he DM. He needs more with. requests. TikTok, everything. We're on Snapchat. We're all over the fucking place. You guys know where we are. Merch coming soon, too. Yeah, new merch drop. Woo! Coming really soon. And on yeah. that note, Dean, we out. Oh. Woo!